Hi oh, everyone, I'm Mike Saroon, and this is Moho. It is what I use to animate most of the things I do that are animated. Like, my city monsters but bad, or the animations I've been doing recently for Fastfree, which you should go check out by the way. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. You won't see me stop, no, you won't see me quit. I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last. But this is how I animate using Moho Debut. So first off, I'm gonna show you how I make a rig because a lot of you ask how I make things. So I'm gonna start out by getting a pot belly from the game files. Now, you don't have to get these from the game files, you can get them from anywhere you want, or not a popular fur cord, and... What? Where'd it go? Okay, so... We're not doing, uh, pop belly, or fur... Why do they keep doing that? Um, we're not doing fur corn. we're gonna do pop belly instead. Because it's pretty easy to rig. So, the first thing is you wanna go... If you... You might, your screen might look like this, as you can see, with all of this down here, beginner's mode tools. You want to make sure your beginner's mode up here is unchecked, so you have all of these tools here. And down here under layers, you want to press new, bone, and you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it pot belly. And you want to get your sprite sheet, and you want to drag it into the bone. And then you can select the crop tool and you can go find what you need and put it over here and now layers are pretty simple to understand whatever is higher up on this list here is what's shown being shown on top so and then you can rotate it if you hold shift and you rotate it locks it into 45 degree angles right 45 right yeah, 45. And you can just create your rig by by piecing together all the pieces. So, oopsies. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so when it comes to layers you need to switch around, like the mouth, they have different positions. What you want to do is you want to go to this, the new layer, or whatever it's called, and you will go to switch. And you can name it, like, I'll name it mouth big. And then drag the sprite we want in here. And then... Get all of the sprites you need. I'm not going to put all of them in there because I'm only going to create a small animation that doesn't require all of them. And once you have your thing, all your uh, sprites in here, what you can do is you can go to Window and then Switch Selection. So now, it'll change, and you can sp select the one you want. Alright, once your, uh, all your sprites are in place, what you could do is you can start making bones. So, you want to select the bone layer with all of them in there. And you want to go to add or select bone or not select bone, add bone, or you could press A. And then from here, you can lay down your bones for each different body part. So I'll do that real quick. Now, something I want to show is that if you create a bone like this, and then you are to move this bone, as you can see, the bone I just placed moves with it instead of this here. So, you can always go to this reparent bone, or, and then reparent it to where it needs to be. Or, before placing the bone, you can select the bone you want it 
do you want its parent to be, and then create the bone. So once you have all your bones, now you want to go back inside, and then you want to go to the, you want to select one of your sprites, and you want to go to this bind layer, and then from here, click. Oh, I forgot some of my bones. Hold on. So you want to go to all your sprites, bind layer, and press the bone that you want it to follow. You could also select multiple images that you want to go to the same bone and append them at the same time, or bind them. And now that that's done, you have a rig! This is the best rig ever. Okay, so let's move on to animation. So I have shortened my animation here to 120 frames instead of 240, you can do that right here. In this box, and you can easily switch frames in this box here. So, keyframes. You can just go to wherever you want and animate your character doing something. Like, I'm just want to make a simple um, idle animation. So you can just move the bones around, and now it'll play smoothly from your keyframe. From the beginning to your keyframe. And you can create another keyframe. So it'll go from your first keyframe to your second keyframe. And then you can create a third keyframe. So it goes between that. A fourth keyframe. And then if you want it to loop, you can copy the start keyframe on frame 0 and paste it at the very end. So now it loops. And you can go in and polish it, and if you want something to move in the middle, you can go ahead and do that. You can put more keyframes on the specific things. And there you go. Now you have yourself an animation. And something else I like is these leaves, I don't have to animate them. I can go over to Select Bone, Bone Constraints, Bone Dynamics, and it's like... It can add wind, and then it, it moves itself, and I don't have to animate it. And it's really cool. I like it. I can make it more obvious. I can make it less obvious. And this is a really good um, tool that you can use to easily animate parts that have like like leaves that are swaying in the wind or whatever and then after that you have a simple animation and then you can go in and you can have your switch layers go off at random at whatever points Like so. And you now have yourself an animation. Oh, and one last thing I cannot forget is how to export. So when you have your animation here, uh, this is the window if you didn't see it. I don't know if you saw it or not, but this is what the switch selection layer looks like. And you can just go in, file, export animation and this window will appear and you have your start and end frame so you could have it so it only gets a certain amount or you could do entire animation and this output thing you have video and image sequence and then you have all of these the ones that I use are mp4 or mov png alpha or avi png alpha they're both the same thing as mov and avi but the MOV and AVI allow you to have transparent backgrounds, and the MP4 is just a video. And you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Pot Bell, because why not? And you can have it export wherever you want. 
and then you press OK, and it'll export. It looks a little weird while exporting, but oh well. And once that's done, you have your animation that opens in a new window. And of course, you can have it loop. How do you loop on Windows 11? And of course, if you made it loop, it can loop. So, that's really going to be it for this video. I'm Max Arun, still by the Andrews Naturals, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.